Hey students, today I'm here with a very interesting Olympiad question. So let's take a look. Find the value of square root of 250 minus 18 root 21. Now this question involves square roots, lot of square roots here. So how do we simplify this? Because there is a square root at the top, I mean on all of this. So to simplify this, let's start from here first, right? 18 root 21. If you see this, this 18 root 21, 18 could be written as 2 times 9, right? And 21 could be split up as, could be factored into 3 times 7. So here I can say in the square root, I've got 3 times 7. So this root is common for both of them. I mean, it is for both of them. For root, it is for 3 as well and for 7 as well, right? So I can just shuffle them and write it this way. 2 times 9 root 3 times root 7 right? Still it's going to be correct even if I write it this way, it doesn't matter. Now think about it. This 250, this 250 could be written as 243 plus 7. And if you carefully observe this, because these kind of things will come with the practice. If you see, because these kind of calculations can be done mentally also, but your observation has to be really good. And this will get better the more you practice things. So, this 9 root 3, if you take the square of it, it's nothing. 9 square is basically 81. And root 3 square is nothing. That's 3. That gives you 243 only. And root 7 square could be written as 7. Now, I'm sure that you must have understood what I'm going to do next. So, what I'll do is simply, I'll start with this. Let's keep the square root as it is. Let's write this 250 as 243 plus 7 minus this 18 root 21. This could be written this way, what I've written here. 2 times 9 root 3 times root 7, right? Now, this 243 plus 7, this 243, as I said, could be written as 9 root 3 square, right? So, I'll simply write here 9 root 3 square. 7 could be written as root 7 square minus 2 times 9 root 3 times root 7. Are you able to understand what the next step is going to be? This is very simple because here, now we can see an identity is formed. This is A, this is B. And this is 2 times a times b. So that's a square plus b square minus 2ab. That's nothing. That is a minus b whole square. Right? So I'll simply keep the root as it is. And this is going to be 9 root 3 minus root 7 whole square. That means this over here, this square and root will get cancelled out. And we are finally left with 9 root 3 minus root 7. That's our final result. Isn't that interesting? Because you see, whenever there is a root on the entire expression, on the whole thing, it becomes difficult to simplify. In such cases, maximum number of times, what we have to do is, we have to simplify it in such a way, so that at the end, you get an identity where there is a square at the top of it. So that root and square get cancelled out. Generally, this is what happens. Now, you can also try out questions like this. And if you have any doubts in such questions, you can always, uh, you can always ask your doubts in the comments section below.